Hey there. Um, didn't mean to interrupt, but today we're unboxing this uh, packed five liter sling. Uh, let's see how this goes. Let's get into it. So, pack five liter sling. So I've had the backpack, right? So here, let me actually show it to you here. Hold on. This backpack right here. I've actually used this backpack on a vacation to my Maui trip actually on this channel. What we did was I packed this whole 30 liter backpack and it lasted me three weeks with only one backpack. So I think that's pretty good. I'll, I'll probably do a review, like a one year review in maybe the next video, but very much recommend this backpack. I'll go over it more in depth in, the in another video. But today, from, an from another product from the pack line, we're gonna be doing the five liter sling from their Go Anywhere collection. I ordered this, I think last year, um, and, it, and it came in finally. Uh, they had a little bit of hold up with shipping and you know manufacturing because of COVID, of course, the virus that I think everybody knows about. Let's get this bad boy open. So the first thing on this box, it says that it's plastic free packaging and it helps pr protect the environment, which I guess, is good. <laughs> uh, I need to get a knife for this. It's great. We're using this pen. We're using this pen because I can't find any of my knives or scissors. You know what? Let's do something we haven't done before on this channel. Let's do an unboxing ASMR. Let's, let's, let's try this. <laughs> let's get this microphone closer to me so you guys could hear all of the stuff. Welcome to my ASMR unboxing. Now that the ASMR portion is out of the way, uh, let's actually go over this bag. So this is the five liter gear hauler. And let's see over here. So far what we see in the front is a very simplistic bag. You have a handle right over here in case you need to maybe grab onto it, I guess. We have this huge open pocket in the center right over here. There's no organization in this one, which is fine. This is, I guess, if you wanted to throw your wallets, your keys, anything inside here, I think this would be like my junk drawer of a pocket. <laughs> so next, when we open the whole package, as you see, there's a, it's a double zipper, so you could open both ways if you wanted to. Not only that, it opens all the way to the bottom, but it keeps it from coming open any other way because of these grommets right over here. So inside the organization, we have this big open space that's open and closable with a magnet. And we have an elastic uh, mesh holder. And then we have this huge mesh holder on the other side of the package. And it also has a key attachment to it in case you wanna put your keys in here and you don't wanna lose them. 
This right here is one of those clamps, so you won't you won't lose them. I know some bags out there, like some sling bags, have one that's very plastic and loose. This one's made out of metal and it feels like it's not going anywhere. Also, from the outside of the bag, we have a top side handle. So if you wanna carry it like that, it's also an option. You have another side handle from over here and you have a front handle in case you wanna carry it like this. This becomes super helpful when, let's say when I'm on the plane and I have to grab something, I need to be able to access my bag from all angles where sometimes my bag is upside down. I don't really have the room or space because I fly economy uh, to <laughs> grab the bag. And so it's really nice having those handles where I could just pull it up instead of going and reaching around and grabbing like the front a top of the bag. It's nice to have options. Now on the outside of the bag, we have the sling strap. So from this, you have a huge little tether that comes with it. And it looks like it is spring loaded with very good tension. It looks like it's not gonna come off. But let's say you don't want the strap on. You can, un, you can unstrap it, fold it up a bit, and tuck it in since there's a little pocket over here. And from there, because of that, now you just have a simple bag. Carry around like that or like a purse. So with this bag, I'm gonna be showing you around maybe two layouts. One for my everyday carry, and one is gonna be for my camera gear, for maybe some light vlogging. But first, before we get to that, let's go over some of the history of Pact. So what I wanna find out is actually just gonna be the what and why. I'm asking what Pact is, and what do they do, and why did they make it? All right, so Pact. Looks like they are a bag company. Well, I already knew this. This is more for your sake. <laughs> Pact is gonna be a travel company. Their motto is travel like a pro, live like a local. Looks like they have a variety of products from bags all the way to packing cubes to a coffee set. Looks like they have a pretty wide selection of things. I actually think I might get the packing cube set for my next trip. They just came out with a new collection. So this is where the five liter uh, sling comes in. And the caption for the new go anywhere collection, it's if your travel will be varied, your luggage should be versatile. The Anywhere Collection is your solution for mixed air and road travel and has capacity for days, weeks, and even months. Let's see, so Pact makes refined gear for the modern mobile lifestyle. They exist to enhance experiences. So it looks like what their main goal is to be minimal, making you travel lighter, well-packed things, and it's just well-made products to get you from one point to another with the most optimal setup. Overall, it looks like a really good company. Uh, I'll go over some of the other products I have in a later video, but for right now, I think we should go to the loadouts that I'm gonna show you guys. So let's go on to that. Go to the top down view. So this is gonna be my everyday carry bag and my loadout number one. So let's see what's inside. In the first pocket, I'm not gonna put anything. This is, pocket is gonna be reserved for what I find on my everyday adventures, such as when I went to a maid cafe with my friends. Look at this. Look at what I got. So that, that would be stuff I would put inside the first pocket. But now let's move to the meat of the bag. In the main compartment, as you can see, I filled this up. So this is what I put in this bag, but it could carry a lot more. So what I did was I, I put some extra masks because my family always seems to be forgetting whenever we go to places and we're in close quarters. These masks, they're gonna go into the mesh grommet so they have some airflow. Next, we have a pen, and that's gonna be going with something also later. That right there goes inside the dedicated pen grommet. After that, we have my wallet. So this wallet does pretty much everything that I need it to, as my credit cards, my cash, my driver's license, everything I need. This right here is gonna go into the miniature mesh pocket. Next, we have our AirPods. See, I can't leave the house without these. I always have and always will listen to music whenever I'm out. My first generation, I had a case where it, it attached to my pants and I used to go for it all the time. Therefore, this earns its place into the easy access little mesh pocket right next to my wallet. Next is gonna be a power bank by Anchor. So this power bank has 10,000 milliamp hours. This is, does great with charging my phone, my AirPods, and occasionally my Apple Watch. This right here is gonna go into the magnetic big pocket on the other side of the bag. Next, we have my sunglasses. So I live in California where things get pretty sunny. And honestly, I'm gonna need a lot of protection from the sun. So I'm gonna hang that from the mesh pocket right inside so it's hanging in the middle of the bag. Next, we have my notebook. 
So I'm a filmmaker. So inside here, I have all of my video ideas that I came up with. And honestly, I like to have this around in case I come up with an idea on the go. I put this directly into the middle of the compartment. Last is my phone. I'm gonna put this right inside of the magnetic small grommet. And I can carry this from this way on the side. I could carry it from the top handle. I could also carry it from the top handle as well. But for me, I always like to have mine in sling formation. So I'm gonna be doing that. This was loadout number one. All right, time for loadout number two. As you can see, this one's a bit chonkier because this loadout would be something I would carry if I was to go on maybe like a vlog shoot. This bag, in my opinion, wouldn't be, isn't the best for maybe vlogging because I wouldn't be able to take some of my better cameras, although useful if it was only light vlogging. So let's check out what's inside. So first, the first pocket. This pocket isn't just gonna be for what I collect on my adventures anymore. This is now gonna be where I put my phone, it's gonna be where I put my wallet, and it's gonna be where I put my AirPods. Next pocket is gonna be right inside here, the mesh pocket. This right here is gonna be all the masks I'm gonna take just in case. You never know when you might need them or break them. Next is gonna be, again, the power bank. See, so we have a lot of carryover on here, but this power bank is gonna be good because I'm actually gonna be charging, if I ever need to, my GoPro, which I'm gonna be using for my vlogging in this kind of bag. This GoPro is small enough where I could also put it in my bag and not have to worry about how big it is. I use my sunglasses because obviously I'm a rip off Casey Neistat. How am I gonna use my GoPro unless I have something to hold it with? This is a Manfrotto Pixie Pod I picked up. This is around $40, but it does the job and it works perfectly for small cameras. And lastly in the bag, I have a point and shoot used for taking pictures. So I get that the GoPro is great for action video, but if I were to use pictures, I would prefer using my Lumex camera. And plus it is a flip out screen for selfies. So that right there is gonna be my loadout number two of my light vlogging camera bag. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Um, sorry, I forgot to uh, record this portion, but I'm, I'm drawing it. Yay. More stuff coming for the channel, uh, coming down the pipeline. Hopefully you like the video. Subscribe if, if you want, I, I guess. Like if you want. All right, bye.